Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Um, Taylor Lehman with Nick Baumgart here of TheHoosier.com. Just watched um, Indiana lose to Wisconsin 60-56. to um, The general vibe of the game kind of felt like the Arkansas-Maryland types of games. How can where, you not think that Indiana yeah. should have three more wins, really? I mean, I mean yeah, exactly. The, 22 and nine, Think about that, 22-9, and 11-9 in the conference. Mm -hmm. That's a great year. Yeah. You know, it, you, you say that, and I always catch myself saying that too, like the what ifs, you know. Uh, what if those three games are wins? Well, every team, every season has games where they blow leads like this. This is not, it's not really anything new. It's just a shame, you know, when you, when you look at it. And so I, I think when it comes, and Archie Miller said, and Devontae Green said this as well, but every game is different. In, in some regard, and, and you're a different team at different points in the season. Every team is, and this Wisconsin team is not the same team that Indiana went to Wisconsin to play. Um, just like Indiana is not the same team that traveled to Madison. It was their first road game, their first Big Ten game. Indiana is usually not the out. same team in the first in the five minutes of the second yeah. half. They are in the <laughs> yeah. last five minutes of the first half. But That's a good point. Today was a good example of that. Today, I mean, today, like Deron Davis, uh, Devontae Green, both got starts for Senior Day, um, and they. They, I mean, I thought they came out great. They came out with great energy. Um, Deron Davis, you know, he, he was on the ground. He wasn't perfect. Devontae Green wasn't perfect either, but Devontae Green scored. I mean, they, they collectively scored, I think it was their, the first 21 points of the game. No, not 21. The, uh, the first 17 points. 17 points. Yeah. First 17 points 13 the by Devontae Green and four by, by Deron Davis. Davis right. had two rebounds, two steals, was on the ground. It was... Man, it was fun. It was, it was, fun it was awesome. I'm you could, so, you could so tell, happy and yeah, so you excited. Could tell that it meant a lot to them. You know, I um, I just wanted them to get the win for those guys, you know, because yeah. it was such a great day. And, and, you know, the ups and the downs, and, and you know, hey, too much uh, is given, much is expected, right? And yeah. so, you know, they're given a lot, and they've – so there are high expectations. Up and down, up and down, they got here, and mm. it, was, it was a great day. It was a great day for 30 minutes, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then they fell apart the last 10 minutes. I mean, you know. I mean, the biggest stat that stands out to me in the last 10 minutes is that Indiana hit one field goal. One field goal in the last 10 minutes. It was right about the 10-minute mark when, uh, I believe it was Devontae Green, hit his um, two-pointer. Um, then after that, the Al Durham three-pointer. Durham three, yeah. That was the only field goal they had. Um, and it was, it was kind of a, it was a weird game because nothing was going inside for either team. Uh, especially in the first half, because um, like it was like the last, the the last uh, I can't remember. Exactly. There was like a five minute stretch at the end of the first half where there were just like six three pointers hit and no scores inside. There was a collective. First half box we got literally a million box. No, there was there was a collective um, uh, just like just struggle on the inside. And I think they six were six to two. Yeah, they're points in the paint yeah. yeah Indiana had six points in the paint Wisconsin had two at halftime and it, it was just like a real struggle but that struggle continued for Indiana where it didn't necessarily continue for Wisconsin and Trace Jackson Davis was basically a, a non-factor in, in, this, in this game he didn't score until the 15 minute mark I think his foot's time. bothering him it you has know, to be. he's got the boot on yep. today coming out of the locker yeah, room and stuff uh, you know it's it's <sighs> It's one of those things where he's fighting through a lot of pain, and you know it, and he's not going to show it, but uh, he clearly is. And, um, you know, there aren't a lot of examples where in Assembly Hall, in, in Simon Scott Assembly Hall, um, where Trace Jackson Davis disappears. And the I, th I look back, the Ohio State game was his worst game this season, where they actually beat Ohio State, but he had six points and three rebounds. Um, in this game, what, what did he end up having? Uh, six points. Six points, eight rebounds. Eight rebounds. Eight, I mean, eight. Didn't get, didn't get started until 15.53 yeah. in the second it's not, half. It's not right? really like a – so, like, it, at, at halftime, he had three rebounds, no points. Um, it's not like he was a non-factor because eight rebounds, I mean, that's a heck of a number still. But um, it just didn't feel like he was really there. You never felt Chase Jackson Davis on the court. Um, not yeah, in the same way did, that you felt. You did kind of, like, I want to say maybe the 15-minute mark to the 10-minute mark. Sure, yeah. I feel like he had a really good five minutes because all of a sudden it was like, ah, wow, you know, you just – Yep. You just pop the uh, the waterfall or whatever, you know, the anyway. Yeah, yeah, just kind of kind there. of got it going, and yeah. you know, nobody got it going the last ten minutes, like nobody. And no. if you go back to the first half, 
right? What was that, the last 451? Mm-hmm. Uh, Indiana's up 28-22. Right. Inside five minutes. And, and things are great. Energy in here was great. It was, mm-hmm. it was a really nice crowd. Uh, it was a different kind of crowd. It was a lot of, a lot of first-timers. Yeah. Up by around us where, where we were sitting. But anyway, uh, it was a good crowd. You're up 28 22 and you can't score. You just can't score and you can't, you just can't hit shots. I mean, there were a lot of them come from the paint. <laughs> well, there were, there were a lot of like bunnies that just wouldn't go down today. And Archie Miller said he doesn't know what's, what to tell us about scoring inside. Mm-hmm. You know, he, he said, obviously, he's going to look at the tape and see exactly what Wisconsin was doing. Not. But there's just not much more that you can, you can do. Um, when you have what what they had today, you either make shots or yeah. you can't make shots, and that that determines whether you're you've got any <laughs> talent or you're any good. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. Like I could get my mom. My mom can shoot them. <laughs> yeah, She's you not can hit them. Right, exactly. <sighs> there's not. There's not. You know, and people will say, "Well, there's got to be coach them up." Or at make some, your at, layup. At some like point, at some point, at some point, point to, the ball's not going to go in. Uh, and then you have to have always. some physical, you know, toughness to say. Okay, well, shooting over guys isn't working today. My foot's right. whatever, and so you go to your counter move or your, you know, a counter to your counter or whatever. The thing with Trace is, you know, big guys are in the post; they're they're pushing around each other all the time. They yeah. need their feet so so. You know, I mean, I think it's like an ankle thing. So that's even worse. You know, like I feel like big men need their ankles. You know, that's, definitely. You're all you're doing is pushing around, pushing around, yeah. and jumping, using quick. You know. Uh, you need a shot, a jump shot. You know, you need your ankles. But I mean, <laughs> ankles, tell, ankles yeah. and feet are, are big to big guys. So. You could tell when he was going up for some of his shots today that he was just uncomfortable. And so, you know, it's kind of like I, Joey Brunk had some moments where he was good, some moments where he was bad. He only played eleven minutes. Um, Deron Davis, same, same thing. Some good moments, some bad moments, mostly good. But and, and I want to touch on Deron real quick. He had yeah. a great start, right? Mm-hmm. But he's guarding Rivers. Nate Reavers. I was going to call him Rivers. Right, right. Nate Reavers, and it's just a bad matchup. I mean, it was going to be a bad yeah. matchup unless Indiana went small with Trey Jackson Davis, who, who could, who just, I don't think physically could cover him today with it, with the foot yeah. and everything. And at some point, you're going to have to get somebody a break. And, you know, Re- Re- Reavers killed him, killed um, Jerron Davis. And as, as great as Jerron yeah. was, as much as we wanted him, but he was, he gave up like three threes to, to Reavers. He killed, I mean, Reavers killed everybody. Potter Potter was good today too, and it was it was one of those things where there just weren't a lot of answers for Indiana inside today, and eventually those shots were going to start going down for Wisconsin. A couple um, unfortunate things. Yeah. One, if I told you that, that Justin Smith, Trey Jackson Davis, Rob Finnessy, Race Thompson would would shoot twenty nine percent from the floor. Yeah. That's... So what did Devonte Green do? Well, he was six for seventeen. So. He was five of seven in his first seven shots. Those guys were fourteen of forty-seven combined. Fourteen yeah. of forty-seven. So if I told you those six, seven guys, six guys would go fourteen of forty-seven, shoot twenty-nine percent. You know, it's going to be hard to win. Yeah, it's just, it just done. really is. Um, so you got that. I don't think Indiana played fast enough. You yeah. have fifty-nine possessions. If you, if you play, you know, you let Wisconsin dictate them. Say oh, okay. Well, it's going to be great as long as you're hitting shots. Right. Indiana saw that in the first half. They were hitting shots. And everything's great. Everything's great when you can hit shots. <laughs> okay? But then when things start getting tight, when you, when you can't find the rim, when Devontae Green goes cold, who do you go to? You know, what's your – so if, if, you're, if you're playing fast and you're getting up and, and before they can set up and, um, you know, I, I just – so I think that. Second thing, Wisconsin had six offensive rebounds all day. Right. It wasn't the number of offensive rebounds. It was it was the timing of them, right? So, for example, Indiana's up 49-42 with 7.28 left. 49-42, chance to, to, you know, to really step on the throw. They didn't do that in the first half, right? They could have really had a separation gap there at the end of the first half, so they don't do it. They're up 7, 7.28. They give up the offensive rebound. Um and then that turned into a, uh, a lean forward three, I believe. Uh, I brought the lead to 49-44. 5-12, just less than a minute and a half later. Um, that was when, I think, I think it was Reavers got the offensive rebound and won. So you, you had to stop. It was 51-48, and you gave up a three-point play. 
Um, and then at 406, you gave up another offensive rebound, and, and right. you lost your lead at that point. So those three, I mean, out of the six all day, and oh. you think, you know, like I told you before we started, you know, the hardest thing in life is, is to do the little things, you know, well every time. And You're not going to get that college basketball. Either. When you have that, no, it's, it's life. But when you have that margin of error, right, you're, 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 you're you know, you can't go 10 minutes uh, to end a half with three points and five minutes to end a half. So 15 right. minutes of the game, you just didn't score. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it's like, well, what do you, what, what do you expect? You know, it was, it was tough, tough, tough day. Everything was so great for 30 minutes. And, and yeah. Just like, and that's why a lot of people are comparing this game to the type of game that Arkansas and, and Maryland were, um, especially being, being games in Assembly Hall. Um, but I guess kind of where moving on to where this loss kind of puts Indiana uh, as far as the, the tournament goes. There are a lot of different ways you can go. Um, I think it just kind of depends on your, your opinion at this point. I think this loss, I think this loss could be enough for some people to say that Indiana shouldn't be in the tournament. Um, but what it definitely does is it makes Indiana an 11 seed for the Big Ten tournament. I'll debate anyone. And, uh, <laughs> and not that I wouldn't say Indiana doesn't belong in the tournament. Or right, I mean, right. like, uh, when you watch this team play, this is a tournament team. I mean, this is. Yeah, you know, I would agree. This, I've watched a lot of college basketball. It's not one of the top teams in college basketball. It's not one of the top teams in the Big Ten, but it's certainly worthy of, of being a part of the NCAA tournament. I mean, there's some. Yeah. So, you know, to me, you know, I said this what, a week ago. I said Indiana goes one and one, and. Nobody believes me, and it's fine. But <laughs> you know they're going to get to nineteen and twelve, and they've got six Q one wins still. I think. Yeah, uh, five. Five it's now. Five. Yep. Yeah. So they they got five Q one wins, five six. I mean, you know, selects committees. They're they're people too. Yeah. They're humans. <laughs> yeah, right. They know the stories. They they've well, heard. And so much so that Archie Miller said that they're like Sesame Street TV shows. Yeah. Well, that's the bracketology. You know, the, yeah, the the Archie TV shows. Joe Lunardi, you're right. not getting a Christmas card from March <laughs> no. Don't no, you are surprised not. when you do. I mean, yeah. Look, it's all it's all for for money. It's a money. It's a cat. You know, you're gonna click on it if I say, oh, bracketology for today. You're gonna click on it. Right. It gets it's, it gets it gets clicks. And the know, thing is that Archie Miller is uh, very aware of how people view the Indiana program. I think he. I, the way that he talks about Sagarin ratings, Kim Palm ratings, like he is not unaware of where Indiana sits and all these things and where they've moved. And I think Here, he's here's he's another question. Where here's another so the selection committee they're human, they listen, they read, they watch just like we do. Right. We know the narrative, right? If Indiana misses the tournament, I think things are really, really ugly. This off season and things get not. I mean, Archie Miller's safe and, and fine yeah, for next year, so. but things get tough. You must determine again. Yeah. If you don't know exactly if a team is is, oh, well, I don't know. They're on. The, I don't know. I just feel like there's a psychological component to it where people sure. are going to say, well, Indiana hasn't made the tournament. You know, if Indiana went to the tournament every year, it'd be easy to to keep Purdue out. They go to the tournament every year, man. They've been in the lead eight forever. Like, right. You know, I don't. No, I'm just. I mean, I think to me personally, I I, I said one and one would get it done because you're yeah. going to go to Indianapolis next week and you're going to get your 20 points. So you're you're going to be 20 gonna and beat, 13. You're going to beat Nebraska. Like, you, like, can't, really, I mean, the, Cam know. Max suspended. He's not going to play. Like, it's he's the the player that hurts Indiana on Nebraska's team, and I just don't see Nebraska beating Indiana. No. Um, you know, worse things have happened or weirder things have happened. Um, but I think I do agree. I think Indiana gets that win. You add another win. It's 2013. Um, if you, if you then they, I think they move on, and it looks like they're gonna probably play Iowa in yeah, that next round. Yeah. And the Which Iowa is game, it's winnable. Yeah. It's, it's certainly winnable. Um, you know, we saw. Uh, I mean, I just, I, I just, I don't, I don't have that much faith in in, in Iowa. Um, I think Indiana can beat them, especially in Indianapolis, but. Do you believe that Justin Smith can 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 replicate his defensive performance on Joe Wieskamp that he yeah. that he did the last time? And that's really yeah, what it that's, comes that's down the big to. Thing, yeah. they, they let him. They let Garza go. You know, 
uh, you know, do what you can on Garza. He's going to get his, but don't let Wees Camp, you know, beat you. So from from here on out, you know, obviously the regular season's over. Yeah. Uh, they move into the Big Ten tournament Wednesday. Uh, they'll most likely be playing on that Thursday uh, against who? It's probably Iowa, but uh, not guaranteed. So I guess that's pretty much what we have to look forward to now. So um, For sure. Yeah, I guess that kind of brings it. Brings Wednesday it to night, a, right? It's Wednesday night. It brings it to an end. Um, that was, you know. Kind of a weird end to the to the season, you know. Devontae Green was actually asked if he felt like they were playing their best basketball at the end of the year, and he said he doesn't believe it's their best because there's always room to improve, but that he believes they finished better than they started. And I think it depends on what you consider the starting point. You don't seem sold on it. If you consider the starting point, if you consider the starting point the Wisconsin game, then yeah, absolutely. But. At some some points, I thought Indiana kind of looked like a better team. I thought that stretch where they where they beat Ohio State here, and then that then they went on that run that included the beating Michigan State and ended with that Maryland loss in Assembly Hall. Like thirty eight minutes worth of mm-hmm. really good basketball. I thought that was like their best basketball they played, but I do think they're playing good basketball right now. I don't think I don't I don't think they're dead in the water. Um, I think they have lots of proof still, and I think. Could potentially see an upward trend. I mean, Wisconsin's can be. See, I'm not necessarily sold on Wisconsin as a Big Ten champion. Um, I think they're going to get. I, I don't see them going very far in the tournament. I just. I, don't, yeah, I tend I don't to feel agree. like they're built like. You know. But I think it's still kind of a moral victory at this point. Um, to, you think to today play. was a moral victory? I think today is kind of a moral victory when when, okay. when it kind of like kind of like the way that I feel about the Maryland loss too. I thought those two. I thought I thought Maryland was a. They just played really well, even though they lost it in the last couple of minutes, and just like they lost this one because shots weren't going down in, in, in the last ten minutes. I think, I think it's okay to feel positive about this game, even though they lost it in the way they lost it. Yeah, yeah no, that's a really good way of putting it. So, um, I guess you know, moving forward, it's not the end of the world. You know, um, I mean, this team is like what the they are. We, yeah, it's not like just, next week they're gonna be like. I don't. Just wait, yeah. they're gonna be. I don't think. I don't think we. I don't think there's some secret with this team. I think we've pretty much seen, seen it at its best, and seen it at its worst. And I don't think it's gonna get any worse necessarily. It could if they lose to Nebraska, but I don't see that happening. Um, so yeah, you know that's, those are just that's my thoughts. The apocalypse, man. That's, that's yeah. Assembly Hall is gonna fall. <laughs> yeah, this, yeah. this roof is gonna fall in, and we'll have to build a whole new right. university. But it's not happening, okay? And he has going to the tournament. I, I guarantee you, if they don't go to the tournament, I will spend the entire month of March in a Matt Painter costume. <laughs> now I, I tweeted this out last year, and people are gonna okay. say, "Oh, you're just you're." No, but this year I'm serious. I, I looked, I looked. You cannot find a Matt Painter in number 12. I even looked for Vince Edwards jersey. Wow. So I'm putting my money on it there. They're going to be in the tournament. They're going to beat Nebraska. They got a chance to beat Iowa. This team is is the team that it is. Yeah. Okay, we're going to get back to the tournament. And, you know, I said at the beginning of the year, I said Indiana would go 9-11. You can look this up. It's on Twitter. It's on our website. <laughs> yeah. Now I said Indiana would go set. We would finish seventh. Right. Who knew this Big Ten was going to be this crazy? Yeah. But I said 9-11. So they finished in the Big Ten where they finished. 9-11. Nine nine and, and I said if they go to the tournament, you know, you got to get past the whole, well, they, they you know, they have an under 500 record in the Big Ten. Yeah, it would be great to be 15-5 and five or whatever. Maybe those days are coming, but at this point you can still get in the tournament by being 9-11. and 11. I mean, right. you know, Ohio State was 8-12. and 12. Yeah, right. So, you know, when, when at the end of the the day when you're giving out grades, I think you, you have to say it's a successful season, even though that their the process was was ugly at times. It's, it's still ugly, you know. It's, it's going it's to still, end ugly, ugly, but at the same yeah. time, getting through it, um, you know, there were a lot of times this year the team could have laid down. You know, today was kind of one of those things things didn't work out, but yeah, um, you know, we're going dancing. We are going dancing. That's all I got. <laughs> okay. All right, we'll end it Get there. Get your dancing shoes. Uh, we'll talk to you guys again uh, Wednesday after the. I bet you're a terrible dancer. Answer. Yes, oh, I'm awful. I'm awful. I'm, I'm awful. Okay. Nobody wants to see that. Um, yeah, we'll talk to you guys later again. I'm Taylor Layman with uh, Nick Bungart with TheHoosier.com, and thanks for watching.